right, hopefully we can get this video finished up with the battery I have now left. So we'll get that through. I couldn't find my spare battery. So um, I wanted to share with you two, perhaps, TTMs here. And then we'll get into a couple of purchases here. Uh, that you probably won't understand the purchases, but uh, uh, one person said that a regular record collector uh, makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, especially to themselves. Um, and to others, but anyway, so this one here is from something Washington 990. Uh, the rest of it disappeared here. Uh, missed my tomato stamp by 100%. I don't know what happened there, but uh, I got it just right on the edge there. Uh, so this is one I think by one of my recent stint send outs. I'm not really sure. I uh, have to double check on that one there. I don't remember that stamp. I really don't remember that stamp. Oh, if that came in that lot of everything. Let's see what we have here. Okay, this is a recent send out here. This is Don Gordon on the Syracuse Chiefs here. So that's very cool. Not too many people get that particular card here. It's also, a, I believe, a, a taller card here. So if you look at a regular size baseball card here, here's Don Gordon's custom here, it looks like, on the Blue Jays here. So there's Don Gordon. I've not seen that one before. This is probably on the Rookies app. I don't know. Uh, let's see, Don Gordon pitcher. Uh, let's see, Don is a mentor and teacher and serves with SCORE International at www.scoreinternational.org or something like that. So that's very cool. I have not seen that one before. So very cool to have that one. So uh, two of one success there from Don Gordon. Very nice. Not too many people get that card signed, but it looked great. So I think I might as well send that one here. And then in a yellow envelope, because I just buy whatever I can get, these envelopes just really thrashed. Big, huge mark on that one. This one came out more or less okay, but it got a, a kind of a fold in there. But a huge damage or thrash in there. And we'll try to get this one open here. Get to it here. Just don't miss anything important here. Get this card out of here. Okay, so this one's taking a little while here. This is Lowell Bailey. I don't remember when I sent this one out here. Let's look at the stamps on here. Not too long ago, hopefully. Um, I do remember those stamps a little bit here. Uh, so Lowell Bailey, I only had two cards here. I had, uh, this is actually the rainbow foil card. So it's actually kind of the, the rare one here. I did not necessarily realize that one. So I figured might as well send that one out. And then that's his base card here. So then all I need is the bronze, the silver, and the gold. Um, you know, mixed in there if I wanted to. So there's he's got another three more cards here. This is the first rainbow foil card, probably one of the few only ones that anybody sent, unless they didn't notice that. It's so, it's basically like the refractor version of, of the gold card. It's so, um, unnoticeable that people miss it all the time um, but they have quite the premium compared to the regular card here then we got two record size boxes here uh, one of them here you will probably not even care about but I just bought it because I hadn't bought records in a long time and it was really cheap here this is my Stephen J Cruz sadistic uh, original and techno mixes here um, it's got a sticker on the front there. Those usually will come off very, very easily with a little bit of heat there, so I don't even worry about that one. It was originally $12.99, and I think I actually paid a total of probably $12.99. Um, these things are super hard to find. Some people will want $25 for this one here. Um, no idea here. You know, these 12 inches, um, a lot of people don't like them. It's got some dirt on the back here, but again, uh, this is from 2006, it looks like here. Again, a long time ago, and here is the record. Again, you have to be careful because a lot of these do not have their original sleeves here. If it has a small little logo in the corner, usually it doesn't have the sleeve. Um, but if it has the large logo like this one, usually it came with an original sleeve there. Um, there's that one there. The vinyl looks good. This will probably have to be replaced because there's a rip right in here. There's a torn right here, and it's kind of uh, got a gross stain in here, so that all has to be replaced. Um, so that's easy enough for me to find one of those. So that will be done in the next few weeks, hopefully. And then this looks like a record, but it isn't a record. So um, I got these for... Uh, the cheap low price, uh, it's not undone on um, acid free cardboard it looks like, it's all back dirt like this here. But I got five of them, so these were a dollar a piece. Ridiculous like a dollar a piece plus some kind of shipping. As I said I think earlier that the seller wanted uh, four dollars for auction or five dollars or buy it now. You'd be stupid not to do buy it now. And these are like record promotional slicks for the stores. And this is Bruce Springsteen born in the USA. I didn't know what I was going to do with these. A little bit of damage on there. Um, and then there was also a paper clip. 
There was also a paper clip that was stuck here and slightly damaged the edge here, but it damaged almost nothing. But a large paper clip is not great to put on record paper sleeves or what have you, so it didn't damage anything. So I have five of these. Um, they're all pretty much, you know, the brown toned here. So I don't know if they're made exactly like the record cover on the same paper. I haven't looked to see, but I have. There's two. I thought I would do something with these. I don't know what I'm going to do with five of them. It would be kind of cool to make a kind of a, a rotating display of these. Um, you know, it just looks like, you know, they came direct from a record store. You can see maybe a little bit of toning in this area here. Um, just a little, yeah, a little bit in the flag. So I'm, I have to look at my album and see if there's any brown toning in the flag there. Uh, he said these were the five, the last five he had left. That'd be something I could probably throw at a swap meet and sell them for five dollars a piece, um, because these are not something you find every day. But these are direct from some sort of record store, uh, old store stock. He could have had a box of fifty of them or a hundred of them. No idea. But this is one of the most iconic '80s albums ever, regardless of what you think of the cover. There, I just kind of cool. And again, black back on the back of it. One of these I will throw in a record frame and again you can see that dark coloring there is showing up in the edges of the front here. Not too bad but you know it just adds a little extra age to the to the American flag stripes there. You never know it may not actually be a flag it just could be a wall with white red and white stripes on it. you can't see the entire flag there. But again um, one of my earliest memories of record collecting I want to say earliest, but one of the first ones I ever picked up at a Goodwill store. It was born in the USA, Bruce Springsteen. I said, oh, that's a really cool one. So I paid, I don't know, $2 for it. I don't remember, it was a dollar, two dollars. I really don't remember. All I remember is that was the only record that I could find was of any kind of rock and roll there. And the reason why it was still there, because I pulled out the sleeve when I got home, and found out it was the Beach Boys, Surfing USA, or something to that effect. I was not too disappointed because, hey, I got this album, and I got another good one here. So it didn't matter which way or the other. I think I've eventually since replaced that, but the, la the next time I go to a Goodwill thrift store, there'll be no chance ever of finding any Bruce Springsteen record in any kind of good condition. You just will not find that, regardless of how common it is. You know, it's always in somebody's collection or elsewhere. There's nothing you can do about it. So that's pretty much what I have. Um, I got the postcards here, all very destroyed and beat up here, especially the Mr. Rogers one. Man, that that really, the machines really love this one here. Got the markings on there, all tore up to gouge. There's a huge gouge in there, like someone took a chisel and gouged off the paint. And then, like I said, it tore off the tore off the end here, so you can see how how the card was made. It was done on the cheap, you know. It was this recycled, yeah. See, printed on 100 percent recycled paper. That didn't work so hot there. So maybe that's why I'm not getting a lot of postcards here because they're getting ruined in the machines here. Uh, so that's what I have for today. Um, it's always good when. Um, you have a, a, a delay in the mail because sometimes it stacks up and you get double. So thank you for watching. All right, today is Tuesday and mail is back in service after the um, delay of mail yesterday. So we will show you what I got in no particular order. Two of the boxes I've already opened. One of them was just dirt cheap. It was one of those auctions you see quite often that, you know, it says like um, buy it now is like $5, but it was something like $4 um, starting bid. And it's stupid to do the starting bid for four dollars if a buying now is five dollars because that takes all the other people they see it oh my gosh and then price goes up and you miss it and that's happened before and I was like why don't I just buy it for the original price you know the 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 I mean it's a, a whopping whole dollar so I'll show you what I got I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with them but I just thought it was just too good to pass up so first off we have Yosemite National Park here and this is a very beat up postcard here but it's a good one um, you can see where the machines the machines have damaged everything I had. Insane. Um, so there's this one here. Very, very torn and beat up here. But finally, I got Lee Vining. Lee Vining um, didn't send me the first time. And I, I basically are now put, you know, postmark request slash. And I, I put out, a, I, you know, I was fairly, you know, polite. But I was stern and said I, I received nothing or something happened. The only place where the, the cancels didn't take was the brand new stamp there. So this, you do not want to, if you're trying to get a cancel, do not ever use these 10 cent stamps. They don't take. And I could do that and it's going to rub off even further. Further. Ridiculous. So, um, Lee Vining, California, has canceled all my stamps perfectly. This is just one I think I had laying around. I said, you know what, close enough. Eh, it's a landmark of California. 
And I think I showed this in one of the last videos here. Yo, Mr. Rogers Raps. Sent it out practically yesterday. Um, it's a 1993 era postcard there. Uh, very, very beat up. But Smartville, California has has um, canceled it. This is one of the most beat up postcards. They even ripped the corner of the postcard off of there. And then it left some huge huge gouge here and big marks there oh my gosh the machines are really destroying postcards here so if I really wanted to do a good job of it I would spend the extra money to get uh, in, in, a, in a return envelope so I don't have the chance to do that here this one here this postcard here is all wrinkled and smashed and um, look at that it's all it's all this origami like this one here uh, this is an old 14 cent postcards this is Salyer California so 37 and 14 was close enough, I don't know, 7, 4 is 11, so yeah, that worked out perfectly. Uh, so it's an old uh, 1982 Carol. I, I don't know why I didn't use this for my Cheers project, I'm not sure, but I said, you know what, yeah, close enough. So that's another one there, so I got three I can cross off here. We got two autograph requests, perhaps. This one here, the Marathon stamp and the uh, Tweety Bird stamp there, and then... Um, I'm going to have to pause the video here because I've got a flashing battery.